This is something that will never be seen again. Space Shuttle Orbiter Atlantis preparing for her final mission into space, which also marks the final voyage for the Space Shuttle program. My name's Emily Baldwin, and I'm standing in the Orbiter Processing Facility to give you a quick tour. So now I'm underneath the shuttle, and you can see the uh, three main engines and the Orbiter maneuvering system. And the shuttle's supported by this huge structure, which really shows how much intricate and thorough work has to be done to prepare a shuttle for a flight into space. Busy working underneath, you can see technicians working on the landing gear to make sure that Atlantis will have a safe return. So here you can see a picture of the shuttle Atlantis um, in all its glory. It's obviously very difficult to, uh, to get a feel for what the shuttle looks like inside the, uh, the OPF here because of the massive structure which is surrounding it. But you might just be able to see through the gap there those black tiles and that's part of the thermal protection system which is of extreme importance of protecting the shuttle um, when it is returning back to Earth through the atmosphere experiencing those extremely high temperatures and pressures. We've now moved into the Vehicle Assembly Building, which is the world's largest single-storey building, originally designed to house the mighty Saturn V rocket that launched men to the moon. But for the last 30 years, it's been used for the uh, shuttle's solid rocket boosters and fuel tank, the last of which you can see is up there. Once technicians have finished working on Atlantis in the OPF, it will be moved over here to the VAB, where workers will attach the shuttle to the fuel tank and the solid rocket boosters. It will spend about a week here before being moved down to the launch pad for the final preparations to be made before its flight.